Yeah. We need um, a land use framework, which is hopefully coming <laughs> later this year, but that's not something that's really been thought through yet in terms of, we've touched on this a few times, managing these competing demands around food production, house building, space for nature, um, and yeah, how to integrate all of that and still yeah, be able to feed ourselves. Mm. Yeah, it's a real challenge. And the trouble is, again, like we were saying earlier, there's no ideal solution. Mm. You know, it's, it's trade-offs, isn't it? And, and I guess that also, you know, it's the, about the, again, about reintroduction of some words, isn't it? In the um, land use framework kind of implies to me a land use plan mm. that actually we think about how we're going to do this in the, in the you know, and that we actively make that happen. Mm. I'm always slightly wary of a framework because it sort of says this is what you may do or may not do, but it doesn't commit us to any particular mm -hmm. activities, which I think takes us back to your point, Niall, about, you know, we're fighting fires mm. rather than thinking, you know, we need to set up a fire brigade. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We need to do some incremental burning of this forest to yeah. stop it sort of building up. You know, we need a plan. Mm. And, and I think that that's part of, you know, what we've been kind of talking about here, isn't it, is that lots of this has happened by the initiative of a particular industry or a particular innovator who's been able to sort of find their way and launch a product range or take up a technology or do a particular thing. Sometimes we've been able to say, no, we don't want that. Other times we've just been, my God, you know, let's, you know like ultra-processed food. There was never a kind of, let's introduce this. You know, let's have a... No, it appeared, we started eating it, it carried on. Mm -hmm. If we'd had a plan about is that a good thing or not a good thing, we probably would have said it wasn't a good thing, even mm -hmm. with the evidence at the time. So it's part, I think, what we're talking about is, you know, having more deliberation, having more plan, and maybe having a different balance between plans, mm -hmm. market mechanisms, and those kind of things, and that the markets have pushed us in particular directions. And when we confront something like a climate crisis, there's going to be a role for markets, but that's going to be limited. Mm -hmm. And also the people, I think that's where the Climathon is really interesting, is, you know, a sort of focused on a people making deliberative dem democratic decisions. And then markets are the servants of that, rather than what I fear sometimes when we talk about food is the other way around is that we've become the servants of food markets. Yeah. Now, I don't think that that was the original intention, but that sort of seems to be where we are now. 